For years I was using Notion and I still use it to this day. But the time I use it decreases more and more because of Cortex. So don't get me wrong, Notion is a great tool. I use it for project management and development in Notion in general is huge. But when it comes down to writing or a second brain, Cortex definitely outperforms Notion in most cases probably. And also in this case, Cortex actually changed my life because of writing. I still use Notion, but it becomes less and less. Because as I'm developing into more like a personal brand and creating content on the internet, I become more and more a writer and build my foundation of entire business with writing. And in this sense, if you're interested in my writing about productivity and personal growth, link to my newsletter is down below. Feel free to check it out. And yeah, let's kick off this video. And first of all, we are starting with the cons of Notion. So Notion has many options, but for most beginners, it's honestly way too complex because there are so many options we can do here with sprints, uh, scrum, um, project management, databases, different tags, keys, and what's it, keywords and everything. But it is for most beginners way too hard. So either for on my skill level and creating templates in Notion also takes a lot of time. So that is some of the cons. And also Notion gets more and more features. But if you work solo, it gets quite complex and time consuming, especially if you're looking stuff like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you're having a team, Notion is great management, but especially when I'm like creating this video here, uh, we, for example, have the script. We can have the tags, we have the status, we can assign people, everything. That is pretty awesome. But for a solopreneur or a one-person business person or people starting off their business, Notion is really, really complex. And the problem about that is you're more focused on learning about Notion and building instead of like really executing on your business or anything else which is not really difficult because we have all these options online with YouTube and Thomas Frank explaining all of the stuff. And for example, this template, which I'm using here with a database is actually from Thomas Frank. That's the template I'm using. And for example, if you want to purchase a template, for example, it is probably pretty expensive. Um, so it is nice to create your own or get like a free version of it. But I feel like you always need to change it depending on your work style. So no template is universal perfect for everyone so whatever template i'm buying or downloading or whatsoever i always do like huge changes kind of way huge changes and to develop it into my own routine because they feel like we need to do that because otherwise our productivity is going to suffer because our mind works differently than any other else's mind so that's something you should consider and one of the key aspects between Cortex and Notion is that Notion is not really a good second brain. Notion is a really good management software and probably the best and we have a huge foundation. But in that case, Notion is lacking compared to Cortex. And also Notion is missing a whiteboard feature, which I don't really understand why Notion did not implement any whiteboard features. And that's also the reason why I'm using Milanote as you probably watched a couple of other videos if you're not new to this channel. Um, yeah, so that is the thing. And otherwise, looking at the pros in Notion, there are a lot of benefits about Notion. First of all, Notion is entirely free um, and Notion is quite complex, but it has many options for many people. So whatever you do, whatever you want to feel like doing, you can actually do it in Notion or there's like, it's kind of like in Minecraft, you know, you have blocks and you have so many options that you can do whatever you want. You are kind of limited to these Minecraft quarter blocks, but you can be creative and create something that works for yourself. But first of all, you need the skills and ideas and also know, know how to craft something in Minecraft, for example, to create, for example, a chair and don't be creative in like the old versions of Minecraft. And also, if you're, for example, starting a business, Notion is a great tool because it provides a lot of good features in actually one software. It is super customizable. We have the databases, um, we, which are generally good options. We have also the Notion calendar. And also Notion is including in the next couple of weeks, I think, the email software. So actually you can, and you can also People can book over you calls in Notion, which is synced to Notion Calendar. And then you also have an email software, which I have no idea how much they, how they change it, but that really makes 
actually Notion a one solution for a lot of purposes. And also, I think they also have web, web development, which are they're currently improving and everything. You can have your own website and build on that and everything actually in one entire software, which is actually insane and huge. And it does make sense why Notion is such a big software in our productivity world. Coming down into Cortex. So if anyone is not familiar with you with Cortex, um, it is then Co's created software business, um, which he uses as a writer. And what Cortex does extremely well, and what is also his main purpose is Cortex is a second brain for writers, like especially in the beginning, because they are still in the early stages and did not public publish publicly yeah, publicly um, developed the software. So a lot of people of you might not have access already because you need to sign up to the waitlist. And I did it pretty early already. So I have Cortex um, access already since a month. And honestly, as I mentioned before, it did change my life, especially as a writer. And also the other good thing about Cortex it is entirely for free as well. If you want to have a paid plan, you can sign up to the community, which is like this. Oh yeah, I'm not logged in, but I'm, I'm paying for it because I feel like there's a really good value. Um, but yeah, coming to that a bit later. And second of all, it is extremely beginner friendly. So even if you have no idea how to build a second brain and everything, everything is actually inside in Cortex with courses, explanations in the free community, which we can go on here really, really shortly. So there's an entire second brain course, which is entirely for free when you log in and have ex probably have access to it. Yeah, I have also the Cortex Premium, but yeah, we have entirely early access and it's actually quite good lessons about that. Um, then there's explanations about the software itself and how it works, pretty simple explained. And if you didn't understand, I, there's times I did not understand it, so I just watch it like multiple times because it's a lot of information in a short period of time. But after one or two weeks, when you get into the idea space and how everything works, it goes pretty well. And in short, Cortex is in this sense, super simple, works great, and honestly, it's the best second brain I've tested so far. And since over one and a half years still I started this productivity journey, um, I'm really like looking into really good second brains and like trying to build it by myself and everything. Um, and then do it, did it in Milanode and the full structure. And honestly, Cortex in this sense was a game changer, especially in terms of writing and new newsletters. So my newsletters increased like a significant amount just because of that. And in this sense, Cortex is honestly a true second brain and many softwares like trying to be a second brain, but they did but they are actually not. And in my opinion, Cortex, especially for idea generation, capturing, writing, um, Cortex is, and also thinked, synchronized thinking in some ways and connection synchronized thinking, especially when you have ADHD like myself, it does makes a huge difference, difference how you connect things together. And if you understand it once, um, as I did in a couple of weeks, the way of thinking and writing significantly changes. The main purpose why I would recommend you using Cortex and also sign up to the waitlist until or hopefully are getting public anytime soon is they have really good text function, text like text function, keywords, uh, keywords, connections, which are similar to Obsidian. If any one of you is familiar to Obsidian, the capture feature is pretty amazing, which I will come up in a couple of minutes. And also um, the pain feature and the library functions are really like a big deal, which I will also come up in a couple of minutes. Um, and the biggest one as well is the Readwise reader connection. So starting off first, one of the main things, which also Cortex is pretty familiar, is the capture feature. So we can, for example, type in um, a like here, is it like capture to whatever note I have done. So for example, I want to write about my writing philosophy, and then I have writing philosophy, philosophy, and then it's capturing to the writing philosophy, and then I can order, save it with tags, means I can do different connections. And then if I'm, for example, in my writing field, in the notes, ideas, um, for example, personal philosophies, then I'm here in writing, and then I'm opening the capture feature next to it, um, I see all of my writing stuff, which is then connected to that. So means when I'm going here, 
then I see, okay, how to write to create an impact. That's one of the first notes. I haven't really done a lot into my writing philosophy, more into my problem philosophy. But yeah, that is one of the things which works pretty well. And compa compared to Notion, um, I never really had an idea where do I store my ideas. So what I did in, in Notion was pretty funny. Okay, like that's just an idea. But like, I always like created more and more documents. It's kind of like um, Apple Notes. And then overall, it gets super cost cluttered and there's like way too much stuff I have. And yeah, that makes this thing super, super difficult. And later on, you don't really find anything. It's either an Apple Notes or a Notion. And Cortex makes it really, really simple. There's all this capture tags, features, and, and etc. And this was also the time about the capture feature why I use Milano quite often. I'm getting into that for a short period of time because in Milo Note we have the option here up there to put something from the phone inside and from when we put it into the phone as an inbox it immediately gets into Milo Note and then have this one photo structure where we can organize it later on which is great and that's something what Cortex is doing. What Cortex does is it really thinks okay how can we make it even more crazy and even better and it, they definitely did a well job with that. So thanks to Denko if he's watching this video. Um, yeah. Another really great feature, feature about Cortex is for example the hashtag and keyword. So for example one of my newer newsletters, um, I have this how to actually outwork everyone the easy way and also a YouTube video about that, which you can check on the channel. And then for example I always create a draft first and then I correct it with gram grammatically correct, create content out, out of it. Um, and what I mostly do is I write it then I have it another pane option, which is amazing. So it means a pane is actually just, if you have a dual monitor setup, you just have a second screen on one screen. And honestly, for a writer, you don't need like an entire screen for that. So I kind of prefer to have like the side tab, then the middle writing tab where I focus on the middle. And then on the right, I have like, for example, my notes, a capturing feature and so on. And then we have the options with categories and tags and keywords and just capture feature. It means when I'm writing a new, newsletter or blog post or whatsoever, I always create like a category and keyword where I can search it later on. Means when I'm like going on command and K, I can search my entire cortex based on the keywords. Let's say I use creator and then I can find the tag about creator, in which documents, in which drafts they are, in which capture features they are, in which sources they are. And the extremely highlight is the readwise function where we have we can find from books or something or newsletters or everything um, connection between that and how this actually works is I tried to show it on my iPad so which is so we I do a screen share right here we are opening Readwise the, the app which costs 12 euros or dollars per month which is quite it's not that cheap but it is a good it's a good value for writers um, and readers yeah so you have the daily highlights and you can synchronize your books with a lot of different softwares and then they have a new feature, which is this reader app, uh, where I'm like currently reading most of my books out of. And then you have a function like then Code videos, for example, and you, couldn't, you can store everything inside of this reader. So we have a library and this library consists of articles, books, emails, PDFs, tweets, videos, etc., which you can, we can also um, tag it with different tags, which I do. So when I'm reading, a specific book for example i'm reading currently the way of the superior man great book recommend for every man uh, watching this video a must read and the core of your um and, and then i can for example make a tag and then I, I can tag it to okay it's a mission it's happiness it's goals it's purpose it's masculine energy it's man advice it's man it's business advice and then when i do exactly that it actually write contributes to cortex and then i can actually search for that stuff so I can search for the tags inside of Cortex in the library function. And if you're a writer, that is a huge game changer. And it, honestly, since I started this, I have many more, way more ideas and it is probably one of the biggest game changers I've ever done in my entire life, especially in terms of productivity. So that's something I would recommend. And this is one of the biggest game changers for Cortex and my productivity. And if and at the end, when we are finished with it, we also have an archive. So when we finish the article, it also gets away from our library and into the archive and the books I have, we have read. And all these texts we did or comments or whatsoever are getting into Cortex immediately connected. You can also do it with Notion and everything. I haven't tested it out 
there. But yeah, this would also work. I never really have the, the thing that I'm really getting a writer's block on Cortex and for writers, I think it is one of the biggest game changers because we have so many options to get inspiration and ideas from using Cortex. Something which is not really new is when we are writing something, I always create while writing some oh, that sounds like a really good uh, hook or something. And then I put it into an atomic node, which I can take as a social post. Or I can also do other connections. I can also link things. I can also connect different dots. And for example, we can also synchronize these atomic nodes and then to different documents. So all of that, no, Cortex is really good connected. And I don't want to get too much into it because there's an entire course about that. So you don't really need this video to understand Cortex. Um, I just try to explain you how amazing it is and how it actually changed my life. And I prefer it in terms of writing more in Notion. And last but not least, as I mentioned before, we have this paint function. And I actually did that exactly that already in Notion means when I'm like creating a, a video like this one here, so, and I use exactly that. So for example, on the left, I have the thumbnail concepts, to do affiliate links, uh, blah, blah, blah. And on the right, I have this, the bullet points for this video. And I already did it with like the, the, the middle line between. And I found it interesting that Cortex is including it as a function. So pretty good about that, super simple. And yeah, that is actually it, why I would prefer Cortex more in no for Notion in that sense. Um, and yeah, if you're searching for a really second brain for writer, I think Notion Cortex is a great tool and you should definitely check it out. It is for free and Notion is still a great project management and I would keep it that way. If you're interested how I'm actually building it is I have Cortex, Minonode and Notion. That's the main street software I'm using and Cortex is for writing, Minonode is for visual connection, second brain type and Notion is for project management, database, habit tracking, etc. So yeah, that's it. That's for this video. If you're interested of signing up the newsletter, reading the stuff I'm writing about, about the deep, about the death, check out the link below. And yeah, hope, wish you everyone a beautiful day and yeah, hope this video wasn't too long and yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye.